Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this latest episode of Fresh Review Friday. So sit back, relax, grab your cigar, maybe a drink, and enjoy. What's up guys? Welcome to another Fresh Review Friday. I'm back at my dad's house. We're hanging I'm dad. Out. That, that would be dad, yes. And uh, we are actually playing to a live studio audience, so everyone off to the side say hi. We're at capacity. <laughs> We're at capacity. That was a standing ovation. Yeah, well, it was, he was sitting. He was sitting. So... But uh, no, we're hanging out here in the uh, beautiful, warm weather with some nice breezes blowing. We figured just uh, shoot a nice uh, cigar video in the sunset, and uh, it's going to progressively. The lighting's going to progressively change as we go. That's right. It's an experimentation with lighting, <laughs> refractive lenses and whatnot. Yeah, it's I'll, science. It's science. Yes, we're playing with fire. You know what's also science? Cigars. Cigars are science? Yes, cigars are science because there's a whole process and everything like that. Explain, please. Well, I I don't really know how it works, but I'm pretty sure that I'm right. The science shows that it's science. <laughs> Look it up. Because science. We'll just we'll just go with that. But anyways, uh, some weeks ago, I was fortunate enough to get in, uh, well, on my doorstep, a package that I was not expecting. I got uh, a lovely box from Drew Estate, which, as I said, I wasn't expecting it, but uh, obviously very excitedly took it inside the house and opened it up. And among other things, I got this little cigar caddy with three cigars on the inside. And uh, it wasn't until they did a live stream just about a week or so later that I found out that these are actually the Undercrown 10. So that's what we're going to be reviewing. And, uh, Dad, I'm pretty sure you're a fan of the, the Undercrown. The number nine's the history. <laughs> it's all about the tens. So, Dad, I'm pretty sure you're a fan of the Underground, so yes, this should indeed. be a pleasant experience. Sungrown, so. Liga Parada, mm -hmm. the list goes on. Yes, this is the Liga Underground 10, so we're going to have a good time with this, I think. So, tan! It's a tan! Tan! I get a tan! It is a tan! Well, don't get ahead of yourself. So, Sorry. anyways, with that being said, let's cue that music and get started. What's up, guys? You're watching Dad Smoking Cigars, sponsored by StogieLives.com and Casa Cueva Cigars from our casa to yours. Thanks for joining us here today in my dad's backyard. So it's lovely out tonight, and uh, couldn't think of anything better than to just uh, chill out in your patio and smoke some cigars. As so, we do. As we do. There's a full refrigerator of beer right behind this camera. Yes, and we'll probably be partaking here and there during, so... Uh, but uh, as I said before, we are going to be smoking the uh, Liga Underground 10, so which I got in a uh, promotional thing from Drew Estate not too long ago. I'm very fortunate and blessed enough to be on their mailing list. Every now and then I get something. That's uh, pretty swell. It is pretty swell, and uh, I want to say thanks to my buddy Jack Hare over at uh, Drew Estate uh, for putting me on that list. And uh, yeah, pretty excited to... Uh, Go ahead and get cracking on this one. Are you as excited as the free cigars that come from Dad when you got these? No. No. Just ask. Those him. are special. Okay. Those are special. So here you are, Pop. Thank you. So uh, so the make of this cigar is a uh, Mexican San Andres wrapper with a uh, Connecticut Broadleaf binder and all Nicaraguan filler. And I've said it many times before that uh, Nicaraguan is some of my favorite tobacco ever. I just have really great experiences with cigars that have, I mean, even just a little bit of Nicaragua tobacco just adds a really nice flavor to the cigar. So what are you getting off the cold drop, Pop? Almost a fruitiness, kind of like a, a fig. Yes, that actually, as soon as I took a puff, that's exactly yeah. what I got. Maybe By the way, I found out this week that my my rap name is Figgy Smalls, so maybe it's appropriate. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hear the story of that in between takes, cause uh, yeah. Well, I could tell it now, and you could cut it out later. Go for it. Maybe they all find it let, interesting. Let me tell it to you now, and okay. you can edit it out later. Yeah, exactly. So, so my good friend Rick and I were talking the other day, and I was able to translate some Spanish at, at a moment's notice, and, <laughs> and so that's when Rick let me know all his friends call him a coconut because he's brown on the outside and white on the inside. So therefore, <laughs> I must be a fig Newton. <laughs> White on the outside, brown on the inside. And I said, wait a minute. My rap name, it just came to me. 
Figgy Smalls. Oh, okay. So you dubbed yourself Figgy Smalls based off of that information. Correct. Yeah, well, this is also the same guy who was called an honorary Latino some years back because he was hanging out with some really cool Mexican friends, and he happened to remember it was Cinco de Mayo. And his buddy Ben Romero told him, hey, you're an honorary Latino today. So there you go. And I've got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs> years later, even. So... And in case you're wondering, uh, our friend Rick, who actually pe appeared on a video some time back when we record recorded the uh, Casa Cuevas Maduro review, is actually part of our captive audience. Maybe right the now. highest viewed video ever on this show. Uh, no, actually. I Sorry, said, Rick. I said maybe. Uh, uh, that that would be the Brothers Bond bourbon review that we did. So oh, that yeah. is still the highest. We crushed that. Oh, you yeah. still haven't sent us any free bourbon, by the way. <laughs> they haven't invited us out to the distillery either. So. We've been big league. <laughs> All right, snob. Let's toast it up, lest we uh, lose our uh, lose the attention of our internet audience. We are, we already lost half of our live audience. Yes, one out of two. <laughs> nice, very nice. Got some kind of woody and nutty flavors right off the bat, with a little bit of that uh, chocolatey kind of notes Ooh. that you get from. Some of the cap however, unraveling however, just a little bit. However, the cap just came off, so that's uh, yeah. Got to be careful there. I'm always uh, I'm always a little nervous. Send us a dozen, going. and we'll work on the quality control for you. Jack, free of sorry. charge. Jack, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's just research, helping the brand. Right. You know, <laughs> we, we have unwaveringly unwaveringly supported this brand, so you yes. Know. No, Drew Estate makes some pretty good cigars. So, initial thoughts, pop. Little, just slight pepperiness on the start. Okay. But not too much. Yeah, it's a little bit. I feel like I'm, it's almost like kind of a baking spice. Not too, too much heat from it. Nope. No heat. But almost like kind of a nutmeg or cinnamon kind of spice right yeah, there. Yeah, I'd go with a little nutmeg. Mm hmm. Woo! Actually, the, it, the smoke smells even better than the cigar taste, which which are both. The, the cigar tastes great, but as I'm, the as I'm really smelling nice. your aroma uh, mm -hmm. coming off of your cigar, it's uh, really pleasing. Yeah, I, I could have totally just had a moment where I was like trying to get the aroma of my own cigar and then just end up inhaling some, some smoke, so I'm going to okay, refrain. Don't inhale, kids. Refrain, yes. Do and not by inhale. the way, while we're on the subject of not inhaling, <laughs> you know, the, Congress is bringing a bill back to the floor for the third time oh boy. To, to help our lawmakers recognize the fact that cigarettes and cigars are not the same thing. I've discussed this right. in many a video prior. And, and here we are, you know, this is our fourth go around. Some say the third, but, you know, it came out in uh, before 2010, and, and this will be the third time since 2010. Yeah. That premium cigars shouldn't be lumped in with cigarettes with those additional taxes because there are lots of Ooh. manufacturers that can't afford the additional load with mm -hmm. their overhead to produce a great product like this. No. So, you know, the the day of the $10 cigar and the $7 cigar are going to be gone. Oh, yeah. If we can't help our lawmakers realize that, hey, this was not meant for fine cigars, hand-rolled no. cigars. No. They've Man. given some of the machine-rolled companies a break. But yeah. That's not what this is about. It's it, it's about cigarettes and yeah. syntax. Cigarettes and those cause babe. cancer and increase medical costs and all that good stuff. There's not been a proven study out there, according to my good friend Angela, who used to be a head surgical nurse at UCLA, that mm -hmm. in her 16 years in the cancer ward, they never saw one case of throat cancer due to cigars. No. Cigarettes, yes. Chew, yes. But not cigars. And as I've stated many times before, and I'm pretty sure this information is still like accurate and still up to date is that even if you smoked one cigar a day uh, every day you would still have a less than two percent chance of getting cancer and you know most of the cancer ca uh, cancer related cases in regards to smoking are one due to cigarettes and two due to the fact that cigarettes have a bunch of added crap in them that has been proven to cause cancer not merely the tobacco and anything like that. It is what has been put into them that keeps you smoking. So, anyways. It's all nice natural, man. It is all natural. So, nice little tangent. No stems, on. no seeds, nothing you don't need. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Nice little tangent we went on. A, we went on there, but at the same time, it's really. I important. borrowed that from Cheech and Chong. That was not my material. Yes, well, we will. Uh, I'll put that in the description to make sure everybody knows. Thanks, Cheech and Tommy. <laughs> so, but that is uh, just as important as enjoying cigars is knowing what's going on in the cigar world and uh, what our government is doing to either screw the pooch or, or not doing exactly. Uh, to help us continue to enjoy this because most of these businesses are family businesses and uh, they are very, uh, they've got a rich history behind them. So you definitely don't want to screw with the livelihood of these people who work very, very hard to bring these to us, these wonderful little luxuries that we enjoy on a regular basis. So, hey, Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> if you're in favor of the working man, help him out. You're going to put people out of jobs that aren't even in America that you don't want here in the first place, help them keep their jobs, help them make a living, quit overpricing cigars. Yeah, they're bought by rich white people. You could say that, but you know what? The ones making them are the ones who are getting hurt, not the ones buying them. Exactly. Other than that tangent, which is still very important, and it is very important to keep up to date in regards what's going on in regards to what's going on in the cigar world and uh, legislation concerning all of that. This cigar so far, off uh, just based off of the first puffs and everything. Good flavor, um, really good. some nice chocolatiness with mm -hmm. a little bit of spice and some uh, nice uh, smoky, uh, woody smokiness. So I'm enjoying it so far already. Definitely some woodiness. Mm -hmm. Maybe picking up just a little bit of licorice. I haven't gotten that yet. Back I'm okay my, with that. Back of my palate. I haven't gotten that yet, but I'm okay with that. So, anyways, guys, those are our first thoughts and other stuff <laughs> on the first third uh, or the first puff so far off the. Uh, uh, Liga under crown 10 from Drew Estate, so we're gonna smoke this down a bit and we're probably gonna be smoking this down for a while because it's yep. uh, I think this is uh, either Toro or Churchill I can't tell so and it's nice and slow burning exactly which is how I like it so anyways guys we'll be right back with you so stick around and who knows what else might come up in conversation so see you then all right we just smoked down the very long first third of uh or half as the case may be yeah right because uh this guy I, I as you know i like to talk and uh while i'm jaw jacking this guy was smoking and he was uh, for a while all, it all was, business it's a race it's a race so but uh <laughs> rat race it's a great movie watch it but anyways, uh, yeah, that was a really good first third. Yeah, uh, excellent. Very tasty. Uh, we were kind of looking at some of the different uh, like notes other people got from the cigar itself. Because I usually try not to do that before I'm smoking. Because then I feel like it's like then I'm going to taste what they're describing in the article or whatever it is that they're talking about. And then it's just like I want to kind of figure it out for myself while I'm smoking. And then afterwards I'll look at it. But uh, basically they were pretty much on... For the most part, on the nose with like kind of a dark chocolate, mm -hmm. and I was getting some bready notes. And I'm stuff the only like. one that got figginess. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, in the the cold draw, I got the the fig notes, mm -hmm. but beyond that, I didn't. I did not. So, but it's really really tasty. I'm the only one who retrohales between the two of us, uh, mostly because he's tried and it just he can't figure it Don't out. Don't dig it. Don't dig it. That's how you get cancer. <laughs> After what we were just talking about. <laughs> That's what my wife says. Uh, is, yeah, anyway, so but um, that opened it up quite a bit, and I got kind of like that little bit combined with like the dark chocolate and some bready notes. It's always really tasty. It's kind of like that uh, chocolate mm -hmm. breakfast muffin. It's really tasty. Yeah, the back of the palate definitely has the dark chocolate. Maybe some hints of like mm -hmm. coffee, espresso, like very subtle, not very. A sousson. Uh, a sousson. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know what that is, but we'll go with it. It's like a tiny bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it's really good so far. I mean, it's got a nice dark, oily wrapper, um, not too uh, toothy or veiny or anything like that. But it's just it's it's really good. I, I, I like the Mexican San Andres wrappers. It tends to have a really good flavor, combined with the other uh, other parts of the cigar, the binder and the filler. So I always like how it tastes when it, you got a nice. Mexican San Andres wrapper on there. In fact, uh, one of our other favorite cigars, the 1502 Ruby, has that as well. Oh, yeah. And that's a great cigar. So it's always a good wrapper uh, to go with when you're kind of shopping for cigars. It's uh, not a typical one because you're usually getting like the Broadleaf Maduro. You're getting the Habano or the Connecticut. Those are the those are the standard fare. But, yeah, this one's really good. I like it. I love it. Definitely. So, 
I think that's pretty much it in terms of our first initial thoughts in that first third. Mm -hmm. So keep Other it. Other than damn good. Yeah. So keep it short, sweet, and simple, and uh, we'll move on to that next third or next half, depending on how fast this guy smokes. And he smokes pretty fast. I'll be nubbin when we come back. <laughs> pretty much. So, anyways, we'll be back with you guys in a minute with those uh, second, third thoughts or just final thoughts, depending on how this goes. So don't go away. Please don't. Please stay. Anyway. You'll want some more. <laughs> Alright everyone, I think uh, we basically decided just because we're having a good time hanging out over here, we're going to make this the last segment of this Fresh Review Friday of the Liga Underground 10. And uh, this is definitely a test of smoke, I got to say. Good smoke output. We will smoke more of them. It's rich, it's, it's delicious. Yes. From beginning to end, great draw. Good construction, yeah. A good construction, great draw, because it's like, I, it's a little soft towards the end, which not is not even hot up there where my fingers are. Oh yeah, I hadn't even done that test yeah. yet. It's like, yeah, I, I don't think I ever would have done that test if Luis Cuevas had not suggested doing it. He says that's an earmark of a good cigar is that if you put your fingers up towards the burn line and you're not feeling the burn on your fingers, then that's a earmark of a pretty good cigar. Wouldn't it well, be a toe mark? A uh, toe mark, foot mark, I don't know. Okay, just it, it means it's well done. It's a well done cigar. So, but no, just really good flavors with like the chocolate and a little bit of spice, some woody, uh, some nutty notes and stuff like that. Rick, don't laugh. But, um, <laughs> and, apparently, uh, we can't say woody anymore. No, we can't say woody. We can't say nutty. Because apparently those are uh, those are trigger words, and it just means he starts he starts laughing. But uh, anyways, it's a it's a really good cigar. I'm really grateful that uh, I was among the you know handful of people that got sent this uh, promotional package. So it uh, was it was a, a great pack. It's a great package. It's a huge package. <laughs> it's huge, but uh, really good cigar. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Pop, any final thoughts before the Batra dies? Yeah, I, I think... Uh, <laughs> we made it this far. I think we'll be buying a box. But, uh, you know, Undercrown, great cigar, through mm -hmm. and through, never had a bad one. Can't go wrong. No, It's just another not. one in a long line of great cigars. Absolutely. Well done, Drew Estates. Yes, and... Again. Uh, yes, once again, well done, so... And if you sent us some free swag, we wouldn't hold back. <laughs> no, definitely not. So, but uh, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Hey, guys. Thanks again for tuning into this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also follow Dad Smoking Cigars on Dad's underscore smoking underscore cigars on Instagram. And be sure to check us out on Facebook. Until then, guys, stay smoky, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. Well, that's probably going to drip. Damn it. Okay, guys. Well, I appreciate you joining me. We're going to be a mother. Well, I appreciate you guys for just that mother son of a. Welcome to another edition of Outtakes with Dad. That's getting edited out. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway. So. Jackass. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> There's always outtakes when we hang out. Yeah. Very good cutoff. Sorry, we got censured by the government there for a second. <laughs> but the cigar is good. <laughs> there were four guys in suits that just showed up and turned off the camera. Open up! Open up! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to my hey, down in front. <laughs> and quiet on set and action. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, our fan just rushed the stage and we had to shut everything down for a minute. The security was called, it got yeah. ugly. Security! Security! You want some more? <laughs> Please, sir. Uh. <laughs> yellow, yellow leather, red leather. Yellow leather. Red. Tip the tongue. Tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue. Lips and the teeth. Tip of the tongue. Lips and the teeth. Ma! 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 <laughs> Warming up. La 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 la. Okay. Yeah, as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Wow. Are you good at